Hello there, Jerome here. These are some of the best hip stretching exercises out there. So starting off with one of the most basic exercises, which is the lunge. Now important with basically any hip stretching exercises that you push your hips forward like so. And you can do that also by leaning forward slightly and arching your back. And hips are very important if it comes to doing front and side splits. So this is also one of the problem areas for a lot of people. So this is actually one of the most basic exercises that you can do for the hips and also suit for beginners. As is the next exercise, which is sitting down on the floor like this, feet against each other, and then you can hold your feet and push against your knees with your elbows to increase the stretch on the hips and also the inner thighs slightly. But you can also ask someone to push against your knees when you sit in this. However, do make sure that you are in full control of the situation so that you are not over, over stretching. Another exercise is this one, sit on hand and, hand and knees and then bring your hips or actually bring your butt towards the floor while your legs are going outwards. And again, you can put some more tension on your hips by sitting backwards or actually pu pushing your hips forward. I'll show the front view, which is probably clearer than the side view. So that is what the exercise looks like. Now you can also rest on your forearms like I'm doing right now. But personally, I like to be more in control of the movement and therefore I will sit backwards. You will definitely feel this at the side of your hips, hip joints. And that brings me to the next one, which is the pigeon stretch. This is also going to activate your glutes. What you do is you will lay your front leg in front of you like this and simply lean over it. And if you really lay down on it, then you can feel a lot of tension or actually you will get a lot more activation of the hips. And you could also lean backwards like so and then you have a kind of lunging exercise and will stretch the hips in a slightly different angle. And also the other hip, of course. Be sure to alternate. Now the reason why the hips are a problem area for a lot of people is because people are sitting down way too much. So sitting is really not that good for your hip flexibility or your flexibility in general. And it also messes up with your posture, obviously. So if you are indeed someone who has an office job, then I recommend stretching regardless of doing either hips or hamstrings. Basically make sure to stretch your entire lower body. Then there are also a couple of more advanced stretches. The first one involves you lying down on your back, like so, spread your legs, which indeed sounds, or actually looks silly, so I wouldn't do this in the gym, and then pull your legs apart by trying to push your knees against the floor, which probably is not going to happen if you're not that flexible. I'm actually, I'm rather flexible, but obviously I cannot get any close. So then the pancake stretch, which is another not so charming move, which involves grabbing your feet like so and pulling your legs apart. Now this is also pretty hard on the hamstrings, which is my personal problem area, and therefore it doesn't look as smooth, but this is actually a great stretch for your hips as well and the inner thighs. That leaves me with three more stretches. The first one is kind of this, you push, oops, no, I'm okay. You push your legs apart, apart. make sure that your pants is not too tight. So you push your knees apart and that basically is the exercise. Then an exercise that a lot of people do this way, so they pull their knee towards their chest, which is not doing anything if you ask me, or at least not if you are of decent level of flexibility. Instead, rather pull it towards the side like I'm doing right here. So, like that. And this is going to do some decent stretching. Uh, it may not be that comfortable and I think there are better stretches but this definitely can help you to stretch in a slightly different angle which is going to help you to improve flexibility. 
This is the same as the lunge, but this time you will place your front leg on an object, elevated object, and again push your hips forward so that you feel the stretch in the latter leg, so the back leg. And of course switch it up. So you can do all of these exercises in a row and in that case I would recommend to do it before or after your regular flexibility training and do it for say 3 sets of 20 seconds or 30 seconds depending on how long it takes you to overcome the tenseness, the tightness is what I'm trying to say. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, subscribe for more thumbs up if you want to see more flexibility videos and I will see you next time. Hello there, Dromeo. How do you regain flexibility after you've lost it?